So I wasn't planning on filming today, but we had a little breakdown, so I figured I'd, I'd get a little video of it. So we got here this morning. We we're going to go spray. My dad left. He said he turned the agitator on, which just kind of mixes the chemical in the water in the tank there and just kind of mixes it around before you spray. He said he turned it on and the hose blew. So this hose right here, as you can see, we already cut it and we're trying to get this off right now. This hose feeds the booms here. So and that comes, that's the main one that comes off the tank, comes all the way down up through there, down over there. Through here, all your, through your pump and everything, and there's, there's where it comes out of right there. So, so right now, I'm gonna try and fix, finish, I should say, finish putting this back on. That was a pain. I got so pissed that I threw the chunk that has a crack in it. And I threw it up on the roof, so I'll have to, I'll have to go get that later. So I'm gonna fire this up. First, I'm gonna move it out to the road so that way if it doesn't work and it explodes again, I'm not on grandma's yard, I'm out in the road where it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So the hose isn't quite long enough. When you move the boom down, it starts sliding off a little bit. So when we're spraying, we don't want it to slide off and then dump all the chemical on the ground in one spot because then we'll have one big dead spot in the field and that won't be good. So. Right now we're going to go down to our local co-op and see if they got the right hose and see if they have enough length of it. Well, we got that all fixed and we sprayed today and didn't start till about noon. So we only got about 250 acres done, which isn't a whole lot, but it's enough. Now we got another 300 acres left or so and we'll be all set for spraying for the most part. Uh, since we finished up, I'm going to drive up here to where the... Uh, where they're building a hog barn. And I'm gonna take a look at what they did today. Um, there were about, oh, I bet there were 35 guys here this morning at about nine o'clock getting stuff done. So I'm gonna hop out and see what they did. Well, it looks like they got all the, uh, they got all the rebar here for the concrete. So they must be getting ready to, uh, to lay that in this is a <laughs> oh never mind they got a big pile of trash over there and I thought they uh, they had some beer cans in there but it was just coke so it's okay hey check it out it's starting to come together a little bit so I'll let you guys take a peek so right here, this square here, is where the office will be and where the loadout will be. So probably sometime in the future, probably not quite right away. We are gonna make another approach right in that ditch right there. And then someday we're gonna fill all this with concrete. So whether we're hauling out or we hire people to come out and haul the pigs away, uh, it'll be nice and easy to drive up. So we'll end up having that be concrete and that'll be super nice. So it looks like, let me jump down here. So this is roughly, I think it's like 80 by 120, I think is what it is, 80 by 150. Just to, just to give you guys an idea how, how big this is. So there's these big holes right here. And so there's four on each side. There's four going down this way and four going down that way. And that's where the pumps are for um, the manure. Because right now I would be standing in where the pigs will go to the bathroom ultimately. So, I mean, they'll the floor will be like up to like here, like even a little bit higher. So um down here as well they'll go to the bathroom and then we can pump it out and there'll be four pumps pumping it out to i think right here also then we'll we can pump it out 
and we can use it as fertilizer. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting all these mosquitoes. So right here, I believe, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure these are where the, the stands for the slats will go. So there'll be just um, pillars going up to um, support the slats. And the slats are, oh, I don't know. They're pretty big chunks, but they're kind of, they're kind of like uh, the bean drill. They're kind of thick in between, and then they've got thin little spots for the manure to fall down into. And so that way, they're just thin enough to where the pigs can't step through them and get their legs stuck. But they're wide enough so the poop and everything else can get through down to the bottom here. So I'm pretty sure these were going to be what's the columns to support the slats, so. Yeah, it's lo it's looking pretty good. Looks like it's coming together. It's gonna be pretty cool when it's all said and done. I'm pretty excited, so. They'll probably come back tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what else they have left to do, but Pretty soon here, I am going to say they're probably getting going to get ready to pour the concrete. And there's going to be a lot of concrete in here. So we're going to have trucks coming in and out constantly. So I myself am not going to be here to see all that because I will have to be at work. But I bet my dad will be here. So, so that's what's going on here. Uh, then we got a call from the guy that's helping us build the shop. And we... Um, etched out a couple of fine points like where we want doors windows etc things like that so pretty soon here uh, we're gonna get that started too and that's gonna be on the home quarter or on the home place so so we got a lot going around here uh, for a farmer not being the not having it be a busy time of year spraying isn't really quite the busiest time of year but for it being pretty slack around here we got a lot going on so Yeah, I'm pretty excited. So remember, if you're interested, subscribe, turn your notifications on. So every time I post a video, you'll get a notification you can watch and you can enjoy. So until next time, see ya.